A subdued start ahead of a superstar arrival. Farnborough's airport mostly serves private jets and local campaigners are against plans to increase the yearly cap of 50,000 flights to 70,000. The airport have a huge responsibility and actually um, what they could be doing is investing um, quite heavily now in a, in a just transition and they have a responsibility to all their workers as well. So they could be making huge steps right now to move over to green energy. Flying is the fastest way to fry the planet and flying in a private jet, 40% of which from Farnborough are empty and on average only, only have 2.5 people on each jet. Um, this is absolutely absurd behaviour. Um, uh, we, we have put a consultation into Farnborough to repurpose their, their airport with a low carbon vision for the future. Marching from the town centre to the Hampshire airfield, the crowd is calling for a total ban on private jets, arguing it's 30 times more polluting than passenger airliners. Organisers have not pulled any punches, calling on multiple Nobel Peace Prize nominee Greta Thunberg to lead them. It's a big deal for the people around here. How important is it that so many people here have come out today with you? Um, I think it's, uh, it's extremely important that, that there are so many uh, who, are, who are standing up uh, and that um, it's extremely uh, encouraging to see how well the, the local people and the local groups have organised this. The airport says the plans would create just under a thousand jobs in the southeast, adding £220 million to the economy. The spokesperson said its environmental footprint is a fraction that of a traditional commercial airport. Ban private jets! Ban private jets! Campaigners hope the added star power will help bring this local issue to global attention. Kieran Fitzpatrick, ITV News, Farnborough.